All right, so we all know that HVAC Facebook groups are the best places to find answers when you need them in a hurry, right? So I'm gonna go into this particular group. And I'm gonna ask a question. We're gonna see what happens. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm having some issues with the burner. When I'm on site, everything seems to be fine, but when I leave, shortly after the customer calls me and everything has shut down, I go back to site, fire it up, and everything is fine. Same thing happens again when I leave. Any help will be greatly appreciated. Cheers. Now we wait. Okay, looks like we got some answers coming in here. First answer, replace the TXV. What the fuck? I don't know what to do about this. The TXV answer always comes up anytime somebody asks a question, even though it's un-TXV related, somebody always loves to throw that answer in and somebody always pops a laughing emoji beside it. I've learned to accept it. We can't beat it. Never, ever will we. Anyway, since we're on the topic of TXVs, I wanted to bring forth a little bit of education because I use the Danfoss TU um, A stainless steel TX valve on a job when I did my blue on conversion about a month ago. It was my first time ever using it and I thought it was very cool because it's stainless steel, it's copper on the inside. Now you don't need to wrap it up because stainless steel actually conducts heat 11 times slower than copper, which is very cool. This particular valve has a little orifice that you put inside of it afterwards and you can take it out and change it if you ever have a problem. So I'm going to take you into my kitchen. It was a Saturday morning. I actually used my new um, Lumex GH5 camera to film it. So the quality of the 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 video is pretty cool and I really enjoyed using it. So I'm going to take you to my kitchen and show you that valve right now. All right guys, just a quick video in my kitchen. This is a Danfoss TUA stainless steel TX valve. Now, stainless steel on the outside, but there's copper on the inside, so you can actually use 15% Silfos when brazing this and you don't have to wrap it because stainless steel conducts heat 11 times slower than copper all right what's cool about this valve is it comes with an orifice that you can change out you just by popping it in just like that now the instructions state that the pin here you add a drop of oil to this pin now whatever the system is using poe mineral oil that's what i would use to drop on that right there and as far as txv adjustment goes for superheat the adjustment is right here we take an allen key we take this cap off and then we stick our allen key inside and we can adjust this valve very very easily so i thought i'd just show you that guys real quick danfoss tua stainless steel tx valve 